Cheers, and welcome to the tabletop discussion on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve, I'm here with Mike, Christy, and Matt. And you're just 17 beliefs away from true freedom. Part four is this? I believe it's part four. The final part. The final part. <laughs> it's Whatever the it is, it's one. the final part. This is finally the last one. First of all, though, today I'm drinking Tower 10 IPA by... Who, who does this? Carl Strauss. Carl Strauss. It's, Carl really Strauss. it's really yummy. It's, it's by yummy. Carl Strauss. And it's very hoppy. I really like it. What do you I, think, Matt? I like it. Uh, I also had a little something something extra from Lagunitas before this. That was also very good. Lagunitas? Yes. I think Mike's drinking that right now. I could be wrong. Yeah, if, if we're good if we're gonna go on that vein, I should probably mention that too, that yes, I am also drinking Lagunitas, a little something extra, but I got to where I am by drinking Stone Imperial Stout. Nice. So uh, nice. That's the way. So this is your third beer then? This is well, to be honest, I also had <laughs> A little something something before the little something something extra. I think I went in order. I'm pretty sure. The perks of being yes. a passenger, right? Yeah. This is gonna be fun. That, that was before I left the house. <laughs> yes. You didn't drive. After work, I didn't drive for all the statists who give a shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the Tower 10 though. It's good stuff. I like a hoppy beer, and uh, I don't, I mean, I brew, well, it's been a while, but you guys brew, right? And is it something about brewing that you will appreciate IPAs more? There's something about, like, like... Man. To be able to blend the hops right is yeah. important. It's very important in brewing. you got to use the right hops and the right malts. Because it wasn't... That, it wasn't, that's it, very, it wasn't I definitely appreciate it more than I brew. For me, it wasn't until I started brewing that I appreciated IPAs more. It was really weird. Like I was like sitting there, like yeah. I get the bitterness in there because they're sitting there and they're doing something different with it, and rather just like you it's, know, it's not just the bitterness though; it's the taste of the bitter. Right? How bitterness. does it blend with the rest of it? The change when you add the hops to the boil, each different hop addition, is definitely a, a great experience. That's all I'd say. Who oh, who did that? Uh, what was it called? Hyper. Uh, Hyper hopping or something like that, where they just added it all at the same time at the end. Damn, uh, there, there's so many different hopping techniques. Hyper That's a different hopping. podcast, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's yeah, I was gonna say hyper hopping. <laughs> add, it seems like you add like hops to a French press or something like that. Like, you know, really get that shit out of there. Anyway, yes. So we right. left off on 15, correct? Final, final I remember. three of you're just 17 beliefs away from true freedom. Bingo, by bingo. Wally Conger. Or list provided by Wally Conger. Yes. Which we'll have a link to in the description. Because As we're the other kids. ones did. As the other <laughs> ones did. And we'll, and we'll link to all the other episodes. As someone requested. Thank you, by the way. Smart thinking. So, number 15. The state will not become impotent in all areas of human action at the same time. You will see the effects of growing freedom in particular specific activities before you see them in larger areas of action. Agreed. Um, an example is, is from a while back. Um, if anybody knows who Christina Tobin is, and that's, that's at this point getting to be, you know, mm, a little bit of an obscure reference, but her father uh, organized a tax protest in Chicago that the Chicago city government was hiking the tax rate for property owners. Okay. And they refused to pay the property tax. And you want to know the crazy thing that happened? Is that the city of Chicago, because no one paid it, nobody paid it of like the higher end properties, mm -hmm. nobody paid it. They're like, oh, Okay, so we're going to lower the tax rate. Wow. And they just did it. So When was this? This was in like seven... She'll kill me if she ever meets me again. But I want to say it was in 75 or 78, if that's, if that's me being dyslexic or something. But it was around end of the 70s where, yeah, he got a bunch of people together and said, we're not paying the property tax. And it was enough people where the city was like, oh, 
well, we can't possibly collect on everybody because we don't have the manpower because the state never has the manpower. That's good to know, by the way. Remember that the state never has the manpower to crack down well, on everybody. Well, that's, I think, the Which whole... Which is an earlier that's the whole, point. I think that's the Correct. whole issue of this is that there's not enough manpower if we all were able to do it, whatever it was. That they Especially just, if it is a good idea. Yeah, what it is. <laughs> when it comes down to it, the state as it is only exists because of acquiescence in my opinion it's because we it allow is. it to happen because yeah. we, we're we scared there, we're scared they're gonna come get us yeah, i know i am fear primarily i am I'm i can i kind of feel like this one contradicts an earlier statement though okay an well, earlier well, point where's the contradiction was? the point the point that said you're not going to get freedom through massive social change okay so you're saying you, your your point goes to a bunch of people acting for social change. Right. And that's kind of what I read into this, too. I both disagree with this one, and I think it contradicts that earlier statement. I don't think I was here for that earlier statement. What was the earlier you statement? You may have missed this one. I think I missed this one. Matt, why don't you read it for us? What was the earlier one? Which statement are we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have the full list on me. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> Because I do believe that people can make a difference. And, and, and if, if we believe in what voluntarists believe, it is going to take the masses of voluntarists to rise up and just not do things and not allow certain things to um, happen. I mean, not pay your taxes, not, you know, whatever no. it is. It's going to take more. a cultural shift. No. I think it also is something where you have to see that it, it may be something that is far out in the future and may take plenty of steps to get there, but you need to figure out which step do I need to take now in okay. order to do that. Well, it could be a, a, an a organized list, or it could just be but people a, a doing list, it. it like, just, like all these things that need to happen, uh, maybe it seemed like a very long list, but what can I do now is something that you can focus on and get started on that first step. And I think that list is going to vary between yeah, what is important five. to you. Right. You know, everybody's yeah, desire of what's important so, to them is going so to So there's number five. Number five is a rational person does not count upon gaining freedom at some vague time in the future by means of sweeping social changes or other means which are beyond his control. Wait, wait, okay, say that again. Wait, 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 because I remember that one. That one okay. I was here for. A rational person does not count upon... Gain freedom at some vague time in the future by means of sweeping social changes or other means which are beyond his and implied slash her control. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't remember how I answered that one. <laughs> no, but I think it contradicts this one, and I more agree with that one than I do with this one. I don't completely agree. I, I think... I think... Uh, I do agree that uh, you will gain free, you can gain freedom on your own in smaller ways before you gain it in larger ways. But I don't think that the state will necessarily become impotent in some way. Um, I think just just because. I think you will when people And I don't, and I don't think make, you can do it through think, social change either. Oh, see, I do. I think people, when people really get into the culture Who's of... Who's people? Pe you, well, not us, because we're speaking to the choir here. This is the choir. But people, the masses out there, when they understand that... I don't think... that uh, like, like, again, going back to the beginning, I don't think that we need to depend on what the masses, what the general population. No, 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 but that's not this question. I think you can have an effect. I think it's saying if, it won't become impotent in all areas at the same time. Right. I, I think, think though it part. could become it could become impotent in some areas because the masses have made that area relevant. It's like like legalizing marijuana, okay? okay. They've made the, the drug war, they, people know that it's ridiculous. It's becoming more and more, and it, it is the masses. It's becoming, the young kids are growing up and they're like, this is ridiculous. So, so it becomes a norm in culture and then it just becomes irrelevant and the government just poof, it just, it doesn't exist so as, anymore. So as good ideas come along, then the ones that are more poor seem more ridiculous, right? I guess, I guess, 
I guess I, it becomes ridiculous. I don't know. I, I, I disagree. I think... Or then we couldn't... We're, how are we going to legalize marijuana uh, if, if... I don't if, need marijuana legalized. You don't think it's going to? Well, it may in the future, but well, in the meantime, it's gonna, they're going to crack down in other areas. So you have a net No, but they're, talk, but they're talking about it's, what it says is it's not... But where is it going to be a net loss? In one area, you're more free because now there, it's... I don't think I don't think even if marijuana gets legalized, you'll still you'll still have regulation, and in the long right. run, you'll right. probably will be more cracked down on marijuana it's than it is. No, I'm not just sure because there's it's more. Legal. It's just so I'm just gonna throw out my notes for number fifteen and see if anybody like my notation <laughs> on, on the sidebar. I'd see like to hear it because I like the last notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So, yes. so to read the statement again, the state will not become impotent in all areas of human action at the same time. You will see the effects of growing freedom in particular specific air activities, excuse me, activities before you see them in larger areas of action. What I wrote was, yes, the currency will disappear before the cops go home, okay? And what I meant by that is saying that, like, the cops are going to still show up to work and try to enforce these laws before they can't buy a loaf of bread because that's what happened in the Soviet Union. Well, that, because that's they have the nothing better to do than to go to work? I kind mean, of, because yeah, if they go to work, so. they get food. And I guess they eat, so. You're right. And they, they you know, yeah. can, you know, and they're, they're thugs, children. and yeah. they can, yeah, they can so force their way for, into So things. not all of the of the enforcers, of course, will do that. A lot of the enforcers will are not as dumb as we all think they are. Now, they're not all, like, geniuses, of course, but a lot of them will, will see what's coming down the line, and they'll start trying to make some side jobs. And they're not going to tell everybody that they're a cop. They're going to be like, oh, well, I got this and I got that. You want to give me some money for this, this, and that? And they'll make some money. But when it comes down to it, you're going to have – most of these guys are still just going to show up to work because they're going to get a loaf of bread for some carbohydrates. So, but and Okay, but they, they may show up at work, but are they going to enforce the law? Are they going to go out in their squad car and go look for me or look for you or look for you? I mean, or look for these guys out here. There's an audience out here. Unfortunately, um, in my opinion, uh, it depends on how hungry they are. What are, where, what are they getting See? from going out and enforcing hold on, hold on. laws that are... I, right. I, okay, I, fair enough. All right. The, the, what I, my main problem with this, um, first of all, I don't think that this is at all relevant to uh, personal freedom. Um, is it gonna Obviously, the state controls some areas and not others. But in general, they're going to gain, they're going to increase in power before, before, uh, before a crash. There. So you're saying there's like a plateau where like this is their peak, and then shortly afterwards. Yeah, that I think that's more likely than. We're going to gradually get freer for, because the state's going to become... I guess I wasn't looking at this as gradual freer. I was looking right. at if this as there are holes in the system. answer it as a yes or no. There are holes in the system. It's definitely not going to become impotent in all geographical right. areas in the same time. If you're going to take this as a yes the first, or no. The first sentence... It's true. It's true. Right. Okay. It's so impossible it for them right. to, it, it so, to so, be controlling so of all human action. There's areas in which we can actually be freer. But that's... Because but I think I think the second sen sentence. Uh, it, it, it's What's the second one? What was the second one? You will see the effects of growing freedom in particular specific activities before you see them in larger areas of action. So specific activities are going to be more free. Than the people who are uh, trying the new act the activities that are not state regulated and state. Uh, mandated activities. I guess. I guess. I would but you agree put with those that two part, statements so. together. Maybe I, 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 don't I, I don't think don't you're going to become. I don't, know. I don't think the the state is going to become more impotent. It's going to get worse. It, it might. It may become more. Uh, you can. You can make its response. I think you can make yourself more free by. But avoiding the state, so I, but I, I don't think, think the state itself is going to become more impotent. I, I think, so why are they I think saying the, I think so what they're why, I think yeah. what they're trying to get at is that when you are 
uh, becoming more, basically you're pushing the government out right. of what you're doing. Right. Correct. Then the government is going to react with whatever they can hang on to, yep. no matter how poorly attached the strings are. Yep. They're going to hang on to that and they're still going to be saying we have every right to regulate it because less and less uh, reasonable reasons. But once I think once you break the any any sort of reasonable path to what they are doing, you, you're you're good on that subject. So depending on what you are doing, I think I think it's a case of whack a mole personally. It, I I, yeah, I, I agree, agree with you. that. Yeah. But but it's it's you, as long as you're staying ahead, ahead of the state. Exactly. It, it, step ahead of the whack a mole, the ball, the thing. Exactly. As long as you're <laughs> the right. one who's ahead yeah. in right. the game, it's okay. Yeah. Yep. As long as they're always trying to catch up, yep. then you're, you're progressing. Okay. That's where you want to get yep. it. Is yeah, I agree with that. So, yep. so you want to progress in the game, and whatever you can do to do so is the optimal choice. I think it's what they're trying to say. I'm not sure. So the rules of this podcast were we're finishing this list today, right? Is that what yes. it was? We're almost done. All right. So on that point, 16. <laughs> um, I think we went through yeah, 15. I, I think we did. Yeah, we, we, we pretty much did. bulldozed yeah. through that attack that from five different we angles, which, which would pretty much solve it if we threw out five oh, different theories to, more guys to answer it. On this. that point, 16, you will see the effects of progressive freedom among small numbers of people and in small groups before you will see it in large groups. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's yes. a no-brainer yeah. right there. Yeah, you're going to see little collectives of people who are more willing to... Uh, Go out to the wilderness or... Well, what are the odds whatever? of something having yeah. ex- an idea, a unique idea at the Jack exact same time? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was kind now, of... Now, once that person has the idea, it will spread and the, look, the group is going to go from small to large. Right. So I didn't want. I didn't want to just say going off in the wilderness like um, what was the name Thoreau, like oh to be to get anarchy we have to leave the civilization and it live in the woods. It might be one way. It could be and one I mean, way. and there's nothing wrong with no, that. There there's nothing wrong with that. If but your ideas work out in the middle of nowhere, you got a damn good chance of bringing them into the rest yeah. of the world. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So seventeen. Uh, uh, I don't know if you really like address this statement more or less than we do. We just agree with it. If we disagree with it, then yes, of course we can move on. <laughs> I think it's I, pretty I, obvious. I think we just agree. Uh, yeah, I think, I think, so I think too. we just agree. Yeah, you're going to see little hints of it before it, it moves on into the future, right? But yeah. I think ideas be coming from individuals is the point of that statement. Yeah. An idea comes from an individual, and of course, when people... and, and flowers out because when it comes down to it, uh, I, I see a lot of people that. Uh, uh, describe themselves as libertarians and I see them putting forward more often than I would like to see kind of collectivist arguments you know and it's really kind of weird to see it they're just like oh well you know liberty freedom and all this sort of stuff and then they start saying like well when most people agree with this and I'm like well yeah. no, no 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 hold on you're, but, you're getting off into that you're waiting for somebody else to do something but only for because you. there's you know? power in the most people that's why people do that is there's there's power. People like to do things as a community. They just do. So well, I can understand that. I really well, uh, of course, like collective action. Yeah. I don't you, think there's, there's anything wrong with doing things as a collective. As, as long as it's, it's a not good force. idea. Well, it's not and there's not no force. force involved. As long yes. as there's no force. Exactly. And That's so I think we as humans... But if you're waiting for okay, the right, majority of that. people... Right. To get it, I'm just gonna say gonna most, be pe- most people, yeah. the masses because are waiting. Start it. Most somebody's people are waiting for the masses the to do it. Somebody, We're weird. We but, are really freaking the, but the weird. Ma- but the masses doing it does not. I think a lot of this list had to do with that. If you are passing ideas that make sense and there's nothing to be really disputed about it, then you're the person who's sending it off first, and you're just waiting for everyone else yeah. to adopt. You yeah. essentially, you're you need to act because. Waiting for somebody else to act is never going to make you free. Exactly. I got that. But yeah, I'm just saying, gonna, we're, especially we're when nobody really, is when nobody is free, you got to wait for somebody. But to we're act a first. minority, guys. We got to get that. We're a small minority. The masses. So what? But a, minor, I, a minority right, but just, starts I'd off. Like, a I'd like to live in an environment where there's more. But people the minority uh, it starts off with the majority. Eventually, follows with. I, okay. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying so. What? Be, but I'm saying, what is your solution? 
is uh, to why, touch why you... and move and inspire more people so we so we can move into an, a community that actually has more we, people. We have a pretty good I big just, community now. I agree, but I'd like to get have a Let's finish this <laughs> list. It's <laughs> seven. Oh, it's it's getting bigger. We got one oh, left. Sam. Okay, okay, let's do it. It's about <laughs> Number 17. It. 17! Hey! hey oh. <laughs> this is the longest one here. Okay. <laughs> We're straight to the bathroom. If I remember reading it, it's not that bad, actually. <laughs> so, uh, All right. People who have gained relative freedom from state coercion for a particular range of actions will usually not loudly advertise to the minions of the state. You either have to think it up or do it yourself or with your group. Or you have to become skilled at reading between the lines and knowledgeable about less widely read material. But you still have to do it yourself. If you are successfully doing it, chances are you will meet others who are successfully doing it. And you can then do it better together. What is the it? That is up to you. If you have no y not yet identified your priorities for freedom... Don't expect to stumble over many groups and individuals taking advantage of illegal freedoms they have discovered. Illegal being in parentheses. Okay, to no. me that means... Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Agorism. To me that really. means know Agreed. the rules so I, you can break them. Because, agorism. you know, you have to... You, you know, know your rule and so you can break them. It's like, that's not freedom. That's no, I think... I think um, the biggest thing with this one... Is that it was written in the 70s. Okay. The internet do. has broken fine, things li wide open. So um, you have to be a, a, incredibly vague. Incredibly the, This vague. was written pre internet. Yes. So you have to kind so of what think do you of mean like, by hey, that? don't, that? you know, so how does that apply here? be vague. That's kind of what I got out of it was like, okay. Back in the 70s, there wasn't information out there. Right. Now you can look up just about anywhere. But not everybody's great at Right, but that. what information are you... You're looking up information about um, this is, the rules. And so how can you circumvent the rules where there's like a... Ooh, there's an opening. I can get through there. You know, it's like... And, yeah, and I that's don't what think people, that, that's but, what it's saying at all. No? Okay. I think so. I think so, too. Okay, I I, this, this is what I get out of 17. And I, I'm going okay. to narrow, narrow it down as simply as I possibly can. There are a number of, and I say a very, very few number of very eloquent, I might add, will add, and might, I will add, very few number of eloquent activists that have talked about not paying their income taxes. And relation to number 17, that is... If you're not paying your income taxes, and I'm not saying that I'm not, or anybody on this table is not paying their income taxes, but I'm saying if you were not to pay your income taxes, do not go yelling to the crowd about it. Do not go around saying, hey, I just want to let you know, I'm not paying my income taxes, have a good afternoon. So you hey, I'm filling mm -hmm. up the gas pump. Hey, I just want to let you know, not paying my income taxes, you should probably do the same thing you too. You found the loophole yeah. and you don't took it. Don't do right. that. Right. Do not the, go around. We're not we became, talking about lo well, loopholes. We're I talking about what doing talking what, about. what you want. I, well, I didn't, when you said if, that, that's not what I got. But what what I got out of that was like, okay, so do what you want to do. If you're doing what you want and not about, not being yeah. being attacked by the state for it, yeah, but you you're not going to advertise. I got it, but normally That's you'll get saying. attacked by the state if you don't play by their rules. So you've got to find those things which we can play by the rules. Going but back found to, the I, whole I think I think it's more. I think it's trying to say describing. I, I don't know if they put it in the best words. But they're describing work with people around you who are also willing to not work with the state in order to form a society where you don't have a state. Chris, I, I, I don't think that's how how it's put, but that's how I, I don't know. I think that. I think it's saying um, do what you want in a way that you don't get fucked with, and you will come across other people. If you do that, you'll come across other people doing what they want, doing a similar thing. Um, and, and you can't just wait for somebody to hand you the manuscript because the people doing what they want are not advertising to the state, hey, I'm breaking the law over here. 
Well, but okay, I got it. That that they found a way not to break the law to be, you know, right. in order to, they, they were. They it were, says right at the end. What does it say? Um, uh, don't expect to stumble over many groups and individuals taking care, taking advantage of illegal freedoms. Oh, okay. Oh, well. We're, we're talking about people right. breaking the law right, here. Right. Yeah, Christy. All right, like, all right. If, I, I didn't. If I, didn't I, if I were to put my five cents in there, right? Yeah. I would say that if I was an individual, I want to do what I want to do without any state interference, right? right. Okay. So that being said, I want, to, I want to live my life as I want to live my life without anybody bugging me, okay? And if I were to be a specific individual that believed that the income tax is what supports the powers that be, quote unquote, I would not support that through right. legal right. means. That being said, I am doing everything I need to do in order to comply with legal mandates. So, again... Try to keep it legal. Yeah, do what you want to do in your life, but keep in mind there are certain legal ramifications that you should do and shouldn't do depending on who is talking to you. Is what it comes down to. (laughs) Do be aware of the people you're talking around you. If If you're selling... You know, some creams and 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 lemonade or anything like that. And you're talking to somebody and they're all like, hey, oh, well, so you're selling lemonade. And you're like, uh-huh, selling lemonade. It's wonderful. It's delicious. I worked that down. It's, it's fucking beautiful. Um, you know, they're like, oh, hey, well, so like what sort of like permits do you have to get? When somebody says that to you... Out of nowhere, when you're like, oh, I'm selling lemonade, no, 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 no. And then they say, well, what, what, what kind of permits do you have to get? You just go, oh, I have all the required permits. Okay. And seen? because you do have all the required right, permits right. based upon um, the legal right. law. You have right. all the required right. permits. Yes. You're selling lemonade. You, you're, it's not liquor in it. You're, you know, somebody crawls, crawls up. You're, you're, you're down the road. You have, like, a couple lemon trees. You're squeezing some lemonade. Somebody drives up. They go, oh, can I get some lemonade? They go, yeah, sure. And they ask you out of the blue, which is kind of weird. And they go, hey, do you have all the permits for selling this? And go, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. And they, if they ask you to see it, you go, I don't have it on me. If you were to do that certain... If you were. If right. you were if to you were. pursue right. that certain exactly. business. That's kind of what I'm talking about the internet, though. Dang. I, I, know, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, go. Go. Back in the 70s, they didn't have the internet. So the way you got information about the Liberty... People in the Liberty, Liberty community is one-on-one talking... Like we're talking now, and through... Newsletters that I used to get when I was like a sophomore in high school. You right. get like some thick ass fucking Less thing. Wide, yeah. re- less widely read materials. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, yes. That's what I'm trying to say is that the internet has opened up a lot of channels. Still, people who are breaking the law are not going to t- tell the state that they're breaking the law. And because you never should. Sure. That, right. right. that would be. <laughs> The Not on video at all. We would never do anything. It, it, it would it, it would be the it would be the pinnacle of stupidity to say openly, I am not paying taxes and I will never pay taxes again. Never say that on video. Never say that. On video. And imply that you're actually saying care. about what you're doing. Don't ever do that. Ever. I've seen it posted though. Oh, I mean, like that's what I'm saying. Everybody here, I'm pretty damn yeah, sure, and I know all of you very well. You're all legally yes. compliant with what you have to yes, do definitely. within the law. Yes. So, do we have a wrap up here? Well, you see, the thing is, is that uh, we're sure. talking we about are we're right talking about the internet, right? No, but we need yeah. a wrap up. Here. Did you well, see that video about or that article about? Robot sex. <gasps> oh my because god. Because there was, was a no, robot no, sex. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That which went article? viral this week. Yeah. Dude, we, we don't have enough time to talk oh, about man. it. Well, well, which article right. are we talking What's, about? Are we talking uh, about the one right. on GLP? Ro- or? Robot whores. Robot, robot whores, whores yes. is what we're talking okay, which, about. What was that posted on? But we've got 30 Dude, seconds on the internet. On, vaguely on the internet. I'll show you later. All right, tell me later. Okay.
Uh, anyway, so um, I think we can wrap it up by I'm just about out of beer. our own beer. And likewise, I'm, I'm kind of, I've got some drops. The list beer. is done. <laughs> and Yay! the list is done. We finally finished Thank the you. list. Next, next week, we'll have a completely different topic. <laughs> Thank and you. And trust me, it'll be beautiful. We're smart cookies. Have a good evening. Bye.